It's JMA Renee, debut author of a primary sci-fi. It's not out yet, but hey, I feel like I am an author by now. Let's talk about something that I've personally experienced in writing the second draft. This time, we are going to be talking about this thing called the second draft slump. So what the second draft slump is, when you're all done your manuscript and you've left it on your computer and everything, left it from two, for two weeks plus time, you're beginning to realize that, oh yeah, yeah, I, 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 I guess I, I guess I gotta, I guess I gotta go and edit it again. It's actually quite tiring because you have to go up and down those pages repeatedly. When I first did it, at first it wasn't so bad. When I first started to go up and down my draft in the first book, it wasn't so bad. When I was done the first set of editing, I was pretty sure that I had it all done. I waited the two weeks that it took to refresh my eyes and everything, and then I was so ready for it to be out this November. I was so ready for it. Although it was more of so like a personal goal for myself, it was obviously not meant to happen because lo and behold, it's almost December, and guess what? My book is in no way, shape, or form ready to be out in the world. It still needs love, guys. In a way, this if this is still technically the second draft slump because it still needs a lot of love. It's kind of like when you're in college and you're doing your research paper, right? And you've gotten the first draft of it all done. And you're waiting a few days or so to go through those 20 or so pages of your research paper or whatever, or your essay or whatever, your assignment. That's an assignment that you had to write out, be it in English, science, or whatever. It's that feeling, only times a hundred. <laughs> I know the feeling because when I was in college, I had to write 10 plus research papers when I was in travel and tourism. Yeah, oh my goodness, it, it was just awful, guys. Oh my, it was just, it was, it was awful. It was a miracle that I even passed. <laughs> it was a miracle that I graduated at all. When I went back to edit the second draft, I was very disappointed in myself. Like, I swore that I got them all. I swore I got all of the grammatically incorrect stuff. And actually, no, there is something I actually forgot to mention. This book was supposed to be it first person past tense, right? What it's supposed to be. And then I realized, uh, as I was writing it, I write a heck of a lot better when it's in third person past tense. So instead of changing her chapters, uh, from first person to, se uh, to third person, and that's what I did for the rest of the book. And I did the, the right thing and left it for two weeks or so, before I even like re-edited, doing, doing any extra editing. I decided that, one, I want this book to be third person present tense. as I thought it would be and after I changed her chapters the main uh, the main characters chapters uh, from first person to third person still I had to not only do that but I also had to change the <laughs> I had to change the um, POV the other POV characters my book is multiple POV by the way <laughs> oh, I had to, I had to, um, I had to <laughs> change it from third person past tense to third person present tense, and then I again left it for like 
few more weeks, cause, and like, I swear to goodness that like, okay, so you know what, that's fine. It only took me a month to change it up. It only took me like a month. It only took me a month to change it all up. <laughs> right, I spent a month. Did I have to wait another two weeks um, to make sure that I got everything on my draft? <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, it bugged me to my core because I know that it's just going to be absolutely horrible. <sighs> Fine. I did go back to the first draft and everything to make sure that I got as much as I could. I went up and down those pages. This is also like before I even like knew to change the fonts and everything. I went up and down those pages. I... <laughs> I went up and down those pages I don't know how many times. 15 plus! 15 plus! I went up and down those pages for, like so many freaking times. Every single time I thought that I got everything, I would discover a new discrepancy. Like, and then I was pretty sure that I was pretty close to being done. And lo and behold, like, I can't see how many times I've done this. Like, I even did the, um, I even took it to the next level and printed it out. What? What? Wait, did I not print out chapter two? Do I have to? Oh my lord, did I not? Do I have to read the chapter two? Did I not print out chapter one? You know what? That's fine. I gotta go through it anyways. But I even uh, printed everything out. But this is right here. Minus the first chapter and the prologue is all the way up to chapter six. This is all the way up to chapter six right here. So, and the fact that I have to print out the, it would have had the first chapter and the prologue in there. And then this next set of chapters is like, you can tell that I've done it too. Like, look at all the blue and all of the red pen. Right, you could probably, like all of the red pen and stuff like that here. I was like trying so hard and I went through, I read it all, I went through it all with red pen and I thought I got everything and I, and I did the, oh that's perfect paper. And I thought I got everything. Like I have the writing part and it's don't like the editing part, because look at this! Look at this! Here! I'll show you guys right here! Like, let's take out the printing paper. I'll show you guys. Like, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! I printed all that out. And it took me probably about three weeks or so to go through all of this. And then... I... Left, and then I went through the um with this on the desk. I went through the document with this as a reference. So that by itself took three weeks, by the way. So it probably took me about a month or so and a half. So this entire journey was like at least three months or so. And then I left the, and then after I went through the manuscript. I left it for about, about a week or so, and then I went back, I went back, and I can't, I can't, and guess what you guys, I did the font thing, I did, I did the font thing, went through it all again, I changed it back to the Tenorite font, and guess what, I was satisfied <laughs> I need my therapy 
Kitty. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, I went through it a good number of times again after that printing part. And. That was an awful three or four months. I finished the manuscript, uh, stopped writing the manuscript mid May, I think. No, I think it was mid. No, yeah, it was mid May. It was shortly after we moved into our new place. I finished the manuscript around August, uh, about mid August or so. Finished editing the, uh, the manuscript, anyways. And I, I thought I got every little thing, and I sent it out to some, peop some people that I know, uh, so that they can go through it, like, just give their opinion on the plot devices, the, um, the content that could be sensitive, because it's crime, right? So I wanted to make sure that there were no triggering, and uh, they kept getting back to me, like, one, you need to work on the first few chapters, two, you have editing mistakes! And then soon that, that I was told that I have editing mistakes. I wanted to throw in the towel. Because <laughs> I was just so done. I was just so done, you guys. And I worked so hard trying to make sure that it was very well polished. So this video has been about the second draft slump that I'm, that in a way I am technically still in the middle of. But it ha I haven't actually touched the second draft since August, and I'm going to be working on it again as soon as I'm done the first draft of the second book. I, I guess I just gotta go through it uh, just a few more times, a few of the first few chapters do definitely need some love. Someone mentioned that there's a couple chapters there that could actually be combined, so I may end up doing that. That book does still have a lot of work to do, but it shouldn't take all that much longer, because I did, like, the bulk of it during the chaos train that is called the Emotional Second Draft Slump. I did not make that up, by the way. It is a very real thing that writers go through, authors go through, novelists, all of them go through, even the writers of child storybooks, they all go through it. And it's a very real thing. It's emotionally exhausting. It's It can get physically exhausting because you can get migraines from starting at a, uh, a screen all day. It's... It's mentally exhausting, and it's it's a very, very real thing, you guys. And the very next time you want to yell at an author, saying that, like, oh, well, you should have done this, blah, blah, blah. they probably were going to do that, but they have to take it out because they probably realized that, hey, it might not work. Or, hey, guess what? They took it out during the emotional second draft slump. And yeah, that is like pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Stay awesome you guys and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and ring the little bell beside it as well. And yeah, stay awesome, stay safe, and we'll see you guys next time.